The sound of loud cheers and car horns filled the night air as thousands of third shift workers walked off the assembly line. It came when the clock struck midnight just seconds after the contract between the UAW and GM expired. The talks broke down and when the talks break down, it usually leads to a strike. Rich Letourneau is the bargaining chairman for UAW Local 2209. He says the main issues surrounding the strike include wage discrepancies, health care fees, and the closure of multiple plants around the U.S. These people come home every night physically beat up from these jobs. You know, they deserve decent wages. They deserve uh, good health care because these jobs beat them up. Steve Banaka is one of those people. He's worked at the Fort Wayne GM plant since 2000 and says fair treatment of temporary workers is another big issue for him. Some have been in there for eight years, you know, doing the same job, making half the pay, no benefits, no vacation, afraid to miss one day or they're fired. That kind of atmosphere is not good in our plant. Although he's not a temp, he says the passion for unity still burns among his fellow UAW members. As long as we just stick together, you know, as a group, we can, our voices will be heard a lot louder than, uh, you know, singled out. So we're trying to stick together in solidarity and, and hope for the best for all our brothers and sisters. Close to 4,000 workers are now on strike at the Fort Wayne plant alone. It's something Letourneau says he wishes could have been avoided, but they were left with no choice. People have to be General Motors' number one asset. In some ways, it doesn't seem like they are. And these people feel that, you know, that they're not their number one asset anymore because people should be their number one asset. Reporting in Fort Wayne, I'm Michael Kuhn.